Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. Today, in this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem basing on one dimensional body. Let us first understand what is given in this uh, problem. The problem is like this there is a stone, this stone is dropped into a valley. The stone is dropped into a valley, and a sound of splash is heard after 5.3 seconds. If the water is at a depth of 122.5 meters from the ground, what is the velocity of the sound in air? Let us try to understand what is given in the problem. There is a well. Assume this is a well. The bottom of the well. Where there is water. And this well is having water. At a depth of, this well is having water at a depth of 122.5 meter. And a stone is dropped from here, like a freely falling body. So let us first calculate the time taken by the freely falling stone. The time taken by Really falling stone to reach water to reach water is h equal to half g t square can be written using a formula s equal to u t plus half a t square u is zero a is plus z as it is coming down this h is already given for you one twenty two point five half g value is nine point eight it is square so 122.5 equal to 4.9 into t square t square is 122.5 by 4.9 we calculate that is 25 that implies t equal to 5 seconds it means to tell you that this freely dropped stone takes a time of 5 seconds to reach the bottom. Now it has reached the bottom. A sound is generated here. This sound will go back because here is an observer who has dropped that stone. That is the person who is hearing the splash of the sound. So the sound has to, stone has to fall down, sound has to go back. So I shall write the same formula for the sound once again and solve the problem. So for the sound, I can write again s equal to ut plus half a t square. Sound has to cover back the same distance 122.5. U is nothing but velocity of the sound. How much time that the sound takes that I need to identify. There is no acceleration acting on the sound because sound is a wave. G acts on masses, not on waves. So G is zero on this wave. And it is given that total time after which the splash of sound heard is 5.3 seconds that is time taken by the stone to reach the bottom and time taken by the sound to reach the sound back stone we have already calculated as 5 seconds so the time taken by the sound to travel back is nothing but equal to 5.3 minus 5 that is 0 0.3 seconds substituting that in this equation we will get 122.5 is velocity of the sound I have to calculate time is 0 0.3 seconds it implies velocity of the sound in this case is 122.5 by 
zero point three. If you calculate this value, this will be three sixty seven meter per second. So the velocity of the sound in this case is three sixty seven meter per second. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back and back to Venkats Academy for more and more video lessons. Thank you.